Hey everybody, Sam here. And Angela, and welcome to our channel. Welcome to our back deck of our home. That's right, today we have a little bit of a home project video. It's something outdoors that we have really realized we need. So we're going to do it. So since we do have about two acres of woods behind our house, we have had a few critters that we've seen over the last year since we've been here, um, namely, stray cats we also have a possum we have a resident skunk in our woods and last night we just happened to look out our on our deck and see a big fat raccoon sam proceeded to go outside to shush it off and there were five those are creatures that we don't want to have around here because we have small cats outside and chickens this is the only light there is out here that and a flashlight which doesn't really show a whole lot so we are going to be putting in spotlights floodlights whatever you want to call it like that so we can illuminate the edge of the woods and see if there's anything out there maybe even bigfoot <laughs> As we get going, first and foremost, I mean, I want to make the disclaimer, although it should be obvious. Yeah, not a pro. Don't take this as electrical advice. We're not electricians. We are just some people doing this at our house and uh, showing you for entertainment purposes only. Yes, there you go. So let's take a look at all the materials that I have gathered here for this project. I'm using an extension cord that is outdoor rated and heavy duty 14 gauge wiring. It's the most DIY friendly option, but it's also what we have on hand and it's going to work great for this project. I then have some clamp style cable connectors. This is what's going to hold the wire to my junction boxes or my light boxes. Make sure nothing gets pulled loose and keeps everything nice and secure. As far as the wiring connections, you could use the regular twist on wire nuts, but I am hands down a fanboy of Wago lever lock wire nuts. They are the best. They are phenomenal to use. And for a DIYer, they are easy to understand, get things correct and double check or repeat things in case you get things wrong the first try. Up next are some one hole metal straps. This is just some cable management type things that I'm gonna be putting. I will use it to attach the extension cord to our deck, keep everything snug, tight, out of the way, and not have any issues. You don't have to use this one particular style. There are staples you can use that you hammer in. There are plastic staples, metal ones. There are plastic loop straps. There are a ton of different options. So whatever you want to use, go for that. So let's talk about the light kit that we picked. This is a weatherproof metal light kit that holds two flood lamps. It is a very traditional, non frilly fancy style design, but one that is very robust, heavy duty, and will last forever or at least almost forever. There are a ton of different outdoor lighting options but our goal with this is to create a scare light or a light that we can flip on from the indoors and really immediately illuminate the whole area. That meant for us we did not want something that was automatic through motion detection or dusk to daylight kind of runs all through the night. We wanted something that we could literally flip the switch when we wanted but otherwise have it be off. The perk of this project is that the tools you need to do this are really minimal. A good set of wire strippers will get you all of your needs done with electrical, and then a screwdriver will get everything you need done as far as mounting the box, attaching your cable connectors, and everything like that. There is one last thing, and it is what I'm holding right now, but it's blurred out because this, honestly, is the X factor. It's what takes this from, okay, plug it up, you got an outdoor lamp, to something that is really cool, fully functional, integrates wonderful inside your home, and is really neat. So if you want to see what this blurry blob is, no, not me, this thing, stick around. We'll show it to you guys whenever we install it in the project. All right, guys, bear with me as I give you the 360 tour. Here's the way things are about to go down. We have an outdoor GFI circuit protected outlet right below our little outdoor love seat tier and at the door. I'm going to plug or start the circuit here. We'll plug in our extension cord there, run the wire to the left, out to this side of the deck. We're going to follow it around that way. The first light is going to go here at this corner post. It's going to be facing the woods, but we'll have the position of the two bulbs to shine left and right wherever we want. We'll then bring the wires on around this part of the deck. And at this corner post here, we're going to install the second one. Between these two lights, we'll have four flood lamps with position ability. Is that a word? I just said it, so I guess it is. But we'll be able to 
pretty much light from our storage building all the way across the complete backwoods and hopefully that way towards the field as well. So let me get my stuff together, make sure I bring you guys along, start running the wire, get down here and actually start getting some work done because we've been yakking quite a bit. There we have it, not too bad. All of the cable management is done, the wires have been run, they are buttoned down, tightened up, cut and ready for the work to begin inside the actual light boxes, which also double as a junction box, at least for this first one. Here's a look at our light kit. So the box that I've already mounted on the post is one portion of this kit. The other is this plate cover, the front cover with the two holes, and then the two light sockets that you get with it. The cool thing about this kit is it's pretty modular. You can choose to install both your lights, only one. You could take out the center portion and put one light there, possibly three, add on a motion detector seg segment later on. It's pretty cool. It's a modular system. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and install both of our lights. I'm gonna feed the wires through the hole from the outside in. Then I'm going to thread the light socket into place. You want to leave a little bit of slack there, enough room to be able to twist it and configure it. And you also want to make sure your lock ring, the little lock washer, stays on the outside. This allows you to get everything positioned right, and when you've got it, you can cinch it down. So just repeat that with the other light, and then we can take this over to our junction box, along with our gasket that comes with the kit to keep the water out of it. Start putting this thing together, and basically with um, US Electrical, you connect the white wires to the white, the black to the black, and the green or the bare copper to each other. One thing to note, since this is a metal light kit, these are metal, this is metal, the box is metal. You're gonna see the little green grounding screws. I need to run a copper wire or a ground wire from this green screw to this one to the box and then connect it into the ground wire in my electrical system. You want to make sure that the box is grounded 
this plate is grounded these are grounded and everything is safe in the event you have an electrical short that is something that is pretty unique to metal fixtures metal boxes that normally you don't see a lot or even run into with plastic boxes so something to note maybe maybe you want to get just a plastic box for this reason but i really like the longevity and just strength of metal because it's out here where we live things may hit it whether it be me or the kids or whatever and metal i really think will last longer for us You guys saw me do the other light down there, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this one here at the other corner. Exact same way, the only difference is that there is gonna be an extra set of black, white, and green wires in this, since this is a junction box and not just the end of the line. So we'll go ahead and skip ahead, get this thing wired up, and then we'll start actually, uh, I guess, okay, doing the next step. Bulbs, plug it in, and of course, that X factor. Our light bulbs are in place, so now it's time for that X factor. What makes this interesting? What are we excited about? Let's let Angela show you guys. Well, here it is. Here is the X factor that Sam keeps talking about. It is an outdoor light control with a remote. It means that we can plug this up outside and not actually have a switch inside wired in because it is wirelessly connected, which is pretty awesome. We don't have to cut into any walls or add anything serious and it has a light switch plate which is going to look a lot better than having a remote so the little light switch comes with screws but we don't want to use those so we are going to use velcro command strips instead Okay, on. Nice. Off. On. Nice. Sweet. Well, there it is installed. Hold on tight and we'll show you what it looks like at night. Thank you. 
what do you think? It is a major improvement. Yeah, we didn't have anything before. <laughs> no, we had that one little bitty light on the side of the house. It's like the equivalent of a candle at this point now. Right. Looks very nice. It is very bright. And, I mean, it looks great in that area. But now I'm like, oh, wow, we could have that, like, around the house. Like a full Can perimeter like, of light. Yeah. <laughs> and have, like, going through the woods and everything. <laughs> Yes, I don't know. <laughs> Spotlight. <laughs> well, time will tell if we are able to see any kind of raccoons or any kind of predators again. Hopefully, we don't see them, but at least now we can actually see them without them being right on our deck underneath our feet. Or right behind a tree, right at the edge of the woods, and yeah, it's. Yeah. Plus, the benefit of this outside of, you know, looking for predators, it's now well lit in the backyard. The boys can go out there riding their bikes, play in the woods, play basketball, whatever they want to. We now have outdoor lighting to where they can see and spend more time out of the house, which is nice. And not have to think that Bigfoot is standing behind a tree waiting on you. Still could be there. Uh, yeah, at any could second. Be. Could be there. Could be looking at our windows right now. Well, guys, thanks for coming along as we put some spotlights on the back of the house. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time on the homestead. See you guys. Bye. We're going to light them up. Ready, spaghetti? Mm hmm. O's. Okay. What makes this interesting? What are we excited about? Let's let Angela get. Uh, uh, oh, man. Uh, uh. Welcome to our back deck of our home. We are going to be going to be going be. There you go. Now I feel like it's dark. Great. Do you know what you want to say for oh, the There's like a bunch of trash behind my head. It's the things the boys have built. Okay. No, it's fine. Where are you? Oh. It's no different than it was. Plug it in, and of course, that X factor. This is me pretending like I'm doing something. Just waiting for the shot to fade out. Waiting for Sam the editor to get us out of this scene and into the next. Gosh, come on, Sam. Come here. Come here.